All right, this week I'm unboxing three uh, those pack Kala and three those pack Yugi Yugi Yu cards. These they only come five for pack, so they're you know, pretty small. There, the two threads. Alright, these are pretty good cards. Uh, last time I bought them in the box, like the last this time, but I kind of got the same box, the QB box, by accident. So I decided just to unbox these on video, and the rest you guys already saw. But then it comes with a star deck and the big giant uh, Dark Magician card. And I already unboxed those in a different video, so go to this and see if I can get the Kaiba one next time. Alright, let's start with Ka Kaiba cards. A little more bright, shall we? John, uh, Judge, uh, John Man, this one is pretty common. Uh, right, night, hmm. Blah, 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 nothing special there. What is cloning, huh? What does this one do? When your opponent normal or flip summons a monster that has a level, a level target that faces up monster, special summon one uh, clone token with the same or origin type addition levels and attack and defense as that target when the, that target is destroyed and sent to the graveyard destroy this token interesting oh z metal tank okay oh, and the rare card we got a pet the dark clown hey this one's different from the dark clown that usually gets when this card is sent to the graveyard you can Banish this card from your graveyard. Spill summit one pit the dark clown from your hand or deck. We can summon another one. Hmm. Interesting side effect. Now that rare. Okay, we got a duplicate. We got another duplicate. Alright, we got Lord of D with Lord of Dragons. Kind of pretty old. Oh, cool. First Hollow. If they know sense, and wish. What is this one do? I've never heard of it. Special Summit 1 Metal uh, Fin Token. Fin Type Dark Levels 1 Attack 0, Defense 0. It cannot attack your. What does 0? Your opponent takes any. That battle damage you. Well, what was I? If your opponent takes any battle damage you will have taken from battle involving it during each of your standard phase, pay 1000 life points or destroy this token. Oh, in other words, use this to keep opponent's butt. Cost down. This card one card until the end of the phase. Uh, at least the levels of all monsters in your hand by one, even if they are summoned. That one helps you a lot, summon stronger monsters faster. Alright. The flute of summoning dragons. Pretty common. Alright, so that's the first card I got right now. Alright, oh. White dragon head. Alright. Oh, I like this one. Just the look of it looks creepy. It kind of reminds me of a really messed up spawn. <laughs> you know. And the lamp in the rare card. Special Lord. Vampire Lord. A zombie one. I think I had this in my deck once. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponents, 
Discard one card type monster spell or trap. Your opponent sends one card of that type from their deck to the graveyard during your next standing phase. After this monster was destroyed and sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, so summon this card from the graveyard. So now we're just to kill it for battle. Got pretty good cards, you know, that you can use for deck. Of course, there's some really old ones that are kind of lame now. This one, not strong enough for Swiss Summit. It's pretty good to make me want to say I use issue of Summon. This one works for one specific card. This one is fine if you strategy. This one goes with combination. You ain't. This one is very good to have in your deck. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with the Yu-Gi-Oh ones. I didn't get the one I wanted though. On Kaiva. Uh, Swords of a Reading Light. Everybody knows what that one does. It's pretty common. Yeah, Knight. Oh yeah, that's one a lot. Catapult Turtle. Everybody knows what this one does already. Light Sword. And the red card is... Dark Musician. Yeah. Got a lot of these actually. Nothing that really rare. I think I'm not gonna get that really rare cards. And this set. Alright, we got Red Repeat card. Another repeat card. Red Air. And this card. When this card is normal summon special, you can add one yellow gear from your deck to your hand. So just add all the gears together. And this one is pretty good. For the last result, it's kind of hard to keep it because when students get attack and defense, you gotta put it to attack mode, and that's kind of hard to get away. Oh, cool! Black Luster Soldier. I'll be looking for this card. You can ritual summon this card with Black Luster Ritual. I need Black Luster Ritual though. I know it's not the rarest version of it, but yeah. too bad I don't got Black Luster Ritual. It's very hard to get. Defense with wave. wave. Uh, oh, Queen Knight. I think I have the collection now. Black Luster Ritual. Hey, <laughs> cool. Finally got it. This card is used to ritual summon Black Luster Soldier. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field, which total levels equal um, 8 or more. Go and make a secret of the d dark magic. Oh, this one. I got a lot of these ones. This one says, cannot be normal summon. Said must be special summon from your hand by tribute to level six or higher spellcaster type monsters and cannot be special summoned by other ways. During each player's turn, when a trap card is this is activated, you can negate the activation and if you do destroy it, this card must be face up on the field to activate and to reseal this effect. So it's a strong dark magician card. With a special, uh, yeah, you know, ability to negate attack. Uh, well, magic cards. I mean, sorry, magical hats. This one is pretty cool too. What? Right. Let's see for the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's see, I got this one is pretty good. Too. This one, kind of high level. Pretty good for a deck. Don't have the complete set. Uh, here's now a night one. Although, look, it says one, two, three, four, five. So, you have to submit ritual. This one you don't. But, you know, it's good to keep in collection. This one, uh, another type of magician. Really. Hmm. One thing about these is if you have some of the old ones, they're pretty uh, rare now and expensive. You don't want to get a ruin them, so you can replace them with common one versions of them. Kind of like what I would do with these right here. Alright, so the rarest card I got will be these two basically. Not bad. Not to get a good one and get a super rare or something like that. But that is pretty good. At least I got these I'm looking for. And the Ranger ones are pretty expensive compared to these. Probably like what? A nickel? Oh, may this may a, may a quarter of these too. Hmm. Oh, that's it. The real uh, is pretty short video. How long is it?
10 minutes. Wow. I thought it was a little shorter than that. Well, next, I'm gonna see if I can buy an entire booster box of Yu Gi Oh cards in the next time. Unbox some Yu Gi Oh cards. Or maybe two of the big giant ones, special edition ones. Yeah, All right. Well, these are the cards I like, and these are the cards that are the rare ones. This one's pretty good if you can figure out how to use it to kill your opponent, but you have to pay a dozen life points, so. Uh, you have to be good at it somehow. Mm. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys next week. And if you like these videos, like some unboxing, you know, subscribe. Mm. See you right.